were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, Leo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Leo, when I was shuffling off camera for you, what I got was um, hard as a rock. Now, look, this is a family-friendly channel sometimes. I don't know what's going on, okay? We're going to just pull these cards out and figure out what's going on. Y'all, first sign, want to get nasty. Anyway, um... <laughs> Let's see what's going on. And I want to say thank you to um, my viewers in New York, L.A., Chicago, uh, London, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and Dallas. I have high viewership there. So thank you guys. And if you are viewing from that uh, place, that city town, go ahead and drop that below. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. All right. So we're going to pull some cards for the situation. See what's external to you. Get the advice for you. And then pull some a future energy for you so we've got the nine of wands and the uh emperor okay all right let's see what else is happening somebody standoffish um closed off this is definitely hard as a rock the nine of wands and the emperor like somebody is just not movable their heart is cold their heart could be closed off to love they could just be you know solid with the chariot card yeah there's somebody here focused on themselves focus on you know um propelling themselves up the ladder the the um the social ladder the uh business ladder wherever and whatever they're doing this is what um they're focused on they're focused on self they're also focused on what they can get out of situations and if they're not getting anything out of it then they're moving on this is an energy of self-direction self-focused um this is an energy of achievement um, making strides over or uh, yeah making strides over yeah so this could be where some there's like restriction in a relationship restriction limitations uh, this might be a time where there's no activity between you and your person maybe no uh, talking it's just somebody's just not interested in moving forward they're cold they're callous in regards to moving forward they don't want it for whatever reason it could be you. There's a lot of fire energy, Leo, or it could be someone else. It just seems as if someone's definitely focused on self right now. The nine of wands, someone is looking back at a relationship and wondering if they should go try to fight for where the relationship, recover the relationship. Um, but there's also somebody here who's trying to look towards the future and trying to move forward. Uh, it's like opposing energy. Someone is in the energy of looking backwards and the other one is in the industry of looking forward looking 
uh, forward to what is to come moving forward also with the chariot card so that could be you could be someone else or it could be two different dynamics here let's see what the uh energy external to you is it looks like there is somebody pining over the other like oh i wish we could get back together but i'm just accepting the fact that there's no activity between us right now maybe we'll get back together eventually i feel like it's not over either you and your person feel that way or it's just one party all right, let's see what's going on here. What is the energy external to Leo? Okay, the moon card. So um, Pisces, Cancer, definitely Pisces and Cancer highlighted here. So there's some deep emotions that maybe you have not um, kind of come to terms with. Or, or it, this is external to you. So somebody's deep in their emotions. They're trying to figure out they made the right decision, lying to themselves or are they you know really accurately processing their emotions um there could also be some hiding of emotions someone's not showing their hand here um with the moon card something is hidden something is veiled okay this is external to you you can't see it all you don't know what's about to happen if someone's trying to keep you in that energy they could be lying to themselves lying to you too this person just lying it's not truthful they're not honest with themselves they could be double-minded also you know one way this that today and then another way the next day um this is somebody could be you know not emotionally stable they portray to be emotionally stable but they are not let's see what's external to leo this is somebody who could be suffering from bipolar uh mental yeah night of swords with the moon card this is somebody who makes rash decisions it could be you leo could be the other person this is somebody who acts quickly so fast and they, they have tunnel vision on getting something done or moving on or um they also this could even be you know um external to you maybe somebody's plotting on getting you back or pulling you back in or reeling you back in they know that they need to do something big or they know that they did something big this is somebody who's apprehensive about commitment they already have their um their hang-ups about commitment anyway it's like i don't know if i want it but i do want you but i want it but i don't want you it's just too much hot and cold off and on up and down and they want you to move with the cycles that they go in this could have been a relationship but it cycled in and it cycled out you guys were good then you weren't you were it, it was, it's too much going on here in regards to somebody's mental and emotional state of being. It is not stable. It is unstable at best. All right, this is external to you. Let's see. Um, external to Leo. External to Leo. Somebody's argumentative to a wands. Yeah, I told you. Somebody's of two minds, okay? Um, they want the fun, the adventurous, the spontaneous uh, nature. Then they want to be committed and tried and true and traditional it's just like somebody knows that they're a crossroad a decision needs to be made a decision so they need to cut something off cut it out not just have it there waiting in the wings for them to go back to it but they really need to cut it away cut it out um this is also somebody needing to take medication someone needing to kind of really um check in on their mental health okay um, it could be you it could be someone else i told you the devil card at the bottom of the deck this is somebody who is resting in duality so that means Monday, I'm good. By Friday, I'm bad. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being both ways, two ways, duality. Um, it's about making a decision. Are you good all the time or are you bad all the time? And this person wants to, you know, do the hot and cold, the in and out, be lukewarm. You know, you know how what they say about that. Um, this is somebody who... Be careful uh, with the external energy of getting back into this because this is a roller coaster. What is the advice for Leo? Let's see. What's the advice for Leo? That's external to you. Somebody's just not stable. Not right now. And they, they could be looking for a way out or looking for you to recover them or save them or looking for an opportunity to come to you and get something with you then go back over there and get something with that person and do this it is just, it's too much flighty it's what the old people would say flighty all right let's see 
Um, advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. And it could be you, Leo. I don't know. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. Okay. So we've got the hangman in reverse. We've got Pisces in reverse. So you need to stop hanging around and waiting. Okay, you need to come out of this. Come out of just waiting for this person to change their mind or waiting for them to take action. You need to come, yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Because somebody is in the energy of they're going to do for self. Narcissistic. They want what they want, how they want it. Um, they're unyielding, unmovable, um, or irreconcilable, or just as somebody you can't reason with or ration with. Um, they use their power um, in a negative way to assert it over people or to um, dominate. Okay, this is not somebody who is uh, using their mental fortitude and power to um, help, to console, to uh, further situations. This is somebody who is. Um, uh, so this could even be usurping, taking, because we got the the chariot card. This is somebody who's just, just a, a taker. It's going to take, 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 take. Okay, five of pentacles. This is the advice you need to come out of um, feeling used or feeling like you didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. You need to look at the brighter side. The, the look at the brighter side, the bigger picture. Also, the five of pentacles come out of just waiting for this person to come and recover you or if that's what you're in i don't know um or this is what this person is doing um, they're trying to come out of it or they need to come out of it you also need to come out of just waiting and hanging around and uh, waiting for this person to make a decision on you um let's see you had a four wands in reverse so this is not harmonious this is not uh there will be no reunion there'll be a union but it ain't gonna be re and it, nobody's doing it over. We can see each other. We can hang out. But it's not the same. But something's not going to be the same about this. Yeah, the cards are saying you need to take the Queen of Wands energy. You need to put yourself out there and put yourself first. Promote you. Um, get on your life path. Um, be charismatic, outgoing. Um, network. Take action. This could even sometimes indicate getting a makeover. Do something that promotes you, that puts you in a place of um, higher vibration, vibrancy, vibe, a higher vibe here. Let's see what the future energy holds for you, uh, Leo. What does the future hold for Leo? What does the future hold for Leo? Don't allow yourself to be willingly deceived, easily deceived. Okay, privileged lady or privileged man. Looks like you're going to be single. You're going to have a lot going for yourself. You're going to be able to move. Um, you know how you want to move. Do what you want to do. Let's see. Yeah, community. Okay, so you're going to be getting recognition in your community or you have a community of friends, family who will help you, help you move forward, help you get over. Okay, uh, there might be gossip in the community too, but there will be people that you can use or they'll use in terms of, you know, um, reciprocate it you know that they you can use them for help you yeah, know despair you might go through a period of um despair or feeling left out not having enough or feeling used or maybe this is what someone else is feeling um yeah the thoughts okay yeah somebody else this could be external to you somebody could be in despair they could be thinking of you thinking about maybe coming back to you we got two men here on these cards um and then main female at the bottom of the deck so um, definitely this could even be somebody here, somebody let go of something. Someone stop, you know, doing what they used to do to recover the relationship or the situationship. Now we have somebody in deep despair um, about being left out or cast out or not being a part of this person's life anymore. We got also maybe even stalking or like internet stalking, stalking or asking around. We got the main female at the bottom of the deck here. We've got somebody who's single. Someone is looking in on a single person. This could even be somebody's ex. Because we got somebody here who's trying to play two different sides or play two different people. So we've got another woman. We've got two women here. One man still looking in. Uh, they've got a woman looking in maybe on, on to another woman's life or social media or something of that nature. Or asking around about her. There's no longevity. There's no commitment happening with this person. This person is trying to get over something by way of getting under somebody else. 
somebody is hard as a rock. I don't know what that means for you, but somebody's heart could be callous, cold. It's just, it's you can't penetrate that. They don't want what you want, not how you want it. Um, then there's also somebody here. Um, yeah, somebody could be just coming for sex, you know. I don't, I don't see anybody getting it though. Maybe. Um, this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading. Their readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Um, if you're a business-minded individual, you can uh, schedule your discovery call if you want to further your business or start a business. It's about business and it's not personal, okay? And then you can also um, join the KTMG, um, keep the momentum going uh, gang conference call every month. If you want to be surrounded by business-minded individuals like yourself, if you want to get valuable information of how to start your business or further your business, join that call, okay? Every single month we have a call and um, we just uh, exchange idea. Um, it's good. I come with an agenda and then we also give a little bit of time for the uh, participants also. So uh, take advantage of that. Um, thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.